dry air cooks and heats very efficiently that happened today yep it That's certainly why. did yeah 107 just like that and a record almost almost yeah record. almost a record 2011 both of you remember oh that year God. very well and, and, i remember and that and year. everything yeah. was on fire here it was yeah forest yeah. fires everywhere horrible, horrible. so we That's always right. know that it could be a whole lot worse than mm -hmm. what we're dealing with this yeah summer. it could yeah. be and unfortunately it could get a little worse before the week is mm -hmm. out and before we do have those rain chances return to the full here's uh, a live look outside of course this is thanks to tyler neurosurgical so Associates in downtown atop the Plaza Tower there. But here are your burn bans. Henderson and Smith County were added today, and for good reason. It's hot. It's not as humid. Vegetation continues to dry out. Therefore, the fire danger is increasing. You can see a moderate fire danger now out to the north, which could result in additional burn bans further off to the north. And then a high fire risk along Interstate 20 tomorrow. But the highest fire risk is going to be in the very high region there in deep east Texas. So folks, do not burn. Just don't do it, period, regardless of where you're at, because everybody's drying out. 14 triple digit days now that's on the triple tracker in Tyler. We've seen it eight days, including today in Longview and Lufkin has seen it 17 times this year. And we saw what was our highest temperature that we've seen this year so far. We actually tied it from yesterday's high of 105. Excessive heat warnings are out for tomorrow. This will go until nine o'clock tomorrow evening. And what this means is that we will see those heat index or those feels like temperatures at or just above 110 degrees. Temperatures in the 80s to the north, including Pittsburgh at 85. It's 87 right now in Emory, but as we look further off to the south, got us in the 80s and 90s across Smith County. Tyler's at 92, and we've got it at 93 there in Henderson. The East Texas Regional Airport at 87. Nacogdoches is at 86. It's 85 in Appleby. We are in the upper 80s and lower 90s across deep East Texas currently. Do points in the upper 60s and lower 70s. So those dew points or the true measure of moisture in the atmosphere, it has come up just a little bit since our last show at six o'clock. That means it's going to be humid and it's not going to really be allowed to cool down. Lows are in the lower 80s tonight. Area of high pressure is still in place and this is influencing all the weather across the Lone Star State. Closest rain showers are in New Mexico, Colorado and western Kansas. So no rain tonight. Unfortunately, we will see a few clouds here and there. Low temperatures in the lower 80s, high temperatures tomorrow about where they were today in the low to middle 100s. So folks, stay indoors if you can and do so over the next several days because yeah, it's going to be hot and miserable outside. Lower 100s through Monday. We might get a little reprieve from those triple digits next Tuesday with a chance at an isolated storm or two. And then as we look at deep east Texas, same deal, triple digit heat through Monday, a little cooler with a chance of rain next Tuesday. Neil Casey Carson. Thank you. Sports right now. The White House